So here we are back at 4.4. Now one of the things that why you did the five of the, the four or five of the alphabet with the same um, CSS is because we're going to strip each one of them the CSS and put them externally. This is so that if, when you make changes, everything happens to all of them. So how we're going to do this is the following. We're going to go in here and we're going to grab this whole style thing, right? From style to style. I'm going to get rid of the style to style, but we're going to, co we're going to copy it. And we're going to do a new. Now get rid of the word style at the bottom. Bam. And the word style at the top. Bam. And now you've got a style sheet. So what you need to do is file, save, and you're going to save this as a as alphabet dot css. So it's now a CSS file. And you're going to save it right on top of your in your folder. So it has a good way to find it. All right. I'll just make sure I've got all okay. Right. All right. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to replace it because I've already done this once. Okay, so now we've got this CSS separately. Let me just open up the other one we're working on. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're going to take that and you're going to, I'll have the link visible for you, is you're going to make a link within your head. Now remember I said the head is where you attach everything. So here's the head. So in the head we're going to have the Google, ooh, the, we're going to have the Google font. This has to be in every head. We have to leave this, okay? So we've left in the head the following. We've left the title. This is everything being pulled in. This is pulling the style sheet. It's calling the Google font, okay? And then it moves on. So when we save this, it should look no different than the other one. 